Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of Bibliomancy along with a, a tarot read here for you. What Bibliomancy is, is it's a type of divination that's been around for centuries and I do have a video on it. I will put a link to it up here if you want to go watch it either before or after this one. It explains a lot more on uh, the history and everything about it. So what I'm going to be doing is this is a, a tarot cookbook right here. I do have some uh, cooking recipes as well. And uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some bibliomancy here with this with this cookbook. And we want to see what's cooking in your relationship. How's your relationship going? What's cooking for you? So let's go ahead and we're going to open up this paper, this book. You can do this with any book, any type of anything that has written words on it. Put your intent into it, close your eyes, and then you point and there's your answer. All right, so let's go ahead. Sagittarius, what's cooking for Sagittarius? What's cooking for Sagittarius? Timeless reading YouTube. Bibliomancy, Sagittarius. Timeless. All right, let's go. We have... You can either decide to be okay with that or add a little bit more of softened butter. <laughs> softened butter. You can add. A, you can be okay with your relationship, or you can add a little bit of butter. So what? What I would take from that is the butter is like grease, right? To you can, you can smooth it along. You know, you want to coat it. You want to coat it. You want to coat your relationship so it just smoothly just goes doesn't get sticky you know you don't stick it doesn't get you know doesn't get stuck to the pan you want to grease it you can either decide to be okay with it or add a little bit more softened butter so okay so this is kind of saying that you know you can either be happy the way you are or you can sugarcoat it it's saying butter you know, to grease it out, to slide it along. Maybe that's, maybe I'm a little, you know, put butter on it, make it slide away, you know, make it slide away. So you're either going to be happy with the way you are, and learn to accept the way you, it is, your relationship is, or just add some butter for it and just let it melt away, you know, let it go. Let it go. It's not giving you a, it's not giving you a clear answer here. I don't know if that's what you came to hear. But um, I'm going to go ahead now because this, like I said, is a cookbook here. And your card that, it, that came up was the Queen of Wands. So I'm going to read about the Queen of Wands here in this divine cookbook, the meaning of it. And then we'll do your reading. All right. Queen of Pentacles. It says coins, but the coins are pentacles. So the foundation you are building will support your emotional and physical needs as well as those of your community. Don't worry about lack of resources. Anything you need can be obtained by painting the seeds in the ground you have made fertile with your careful tending. Stay true to your heart and everything you touch will grow heavy with fruit. Send down roots and drink in the bounty of the earth. An inspirational character in terms of prolific, prolific Okay. Creation of life is the blackberry bush. They grow almost everywhere so well that people freak out about them taking over their gardens. They provide a sweet, delicious berries and they are not afraid to get a little mean to protect them. Baby Dutch. Your recipe is Baby Dutch Babies with blackberry butter. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this is what the Bibliomancy has telling you about your relationship. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull some cards here and see what's going on. Let's go, let's go see what's going with that. Leave this open in case we want to refer back to it. We have the Queen of Coins, the Queen of Pentacles. Alright, Sagittarius, what do we have going on here? 
Sagittarius. First three are, free, are your cards and the bottom three are their cards. You have the light. You have light in the recent past. Beautiful light. You're, you're reaching up. You know, you're showing a lot of joy, a lot of brightness. You know, you're reaching for the stars. You know, you're reaching for that light, though. You're, you're, you're reaching for the light. So in your recent past, you might have, you might have had a little inkling that maybe you need a little more spark. You need a little more spark in your, in your, in your relationship, perhaps. You know, because she's reaching up for that light. She's reaching up for it. It's as though, I'm not trying to be funny or anything, but it's as though she's covered in butter, right? <laughs> all this golden light. All that golden yellow butter. Right? She's just basking in it. She's basking in it. Basking in this light. In that golden light. So let's go ahead and see what their card is. Trapped in fear. They're trapped in fear. In the recent past. They're, they're trapped in fear. Are they trapped in fear because they might have felt that you were slipping away from them? You know, that, that could be it. Hmm. Okay. New Beginnings is coming to you at this very moment. Alright. You're reaching for that golden light. You're reaching for it. You're basking in that sunlight, in that beautiful glow of joy. Yellow is for joyfulness, right? A new beginning is starting for you. A new beginning is starting for you, okay? As of this moment here. Is this the present? A new beginning has, is popping through for you. This could also have been, you know, your dreams and your wishes. You were pulling, to, you were going towards that light of your hopes and your dreams and your wishes. You were starting to get, they were starting to come to you. You were starting to get fulfillment out of them. And here comes your new beginning then. Then the new beginning is starting to happen as of right now. Your significant other down here, the recent past, is was trapped in a little bit of fear. It's though it's like, you know, this is blackberries, right? It's as though he might have been entangled a little bit. There might have been something that was keeping him tangled up and those briars, those thorns, you know, were, were kind of pulling at him and, and and breaking him a little, you know, breaking the skin, breaking his skin a little bit, we'll just say. So he, he was had some wounds from further back, further back, just not the recent past, further back. There were some wounds that that was holding him back and keeping him in fear as as you're accelerating up. So um, you know, maybe you might want to I don't know maybe want to ask him about that or maybe you know of something of another relationship or something that that held him that kept him trapped and bound because you know he is sitting in. You know, this, these are bars here. It's, the card even reads, I just realized again, it says trapped in fear. So there was something, you know, from the, these briars, from this, this blackberry bush here. What I'm getting as I'm staring here at these cards, I'm getting it as he... He's trapped in this fear because he was afraid of losing you. Afraid of losing you. As you were going, you are moving forward joyfully. You, know, you, you were slipping away from him, right? You were in this, all this butter. <laughs> you see, you were slipping away from him. The next card he has is passion is ignited. 
Passion is ignited. He has now here in the fear in the in the present now. Passion's been ignited. You're on your new begin. You know, it's a new beginning for you. Passion has been ignited here. What's this passion united? Let, let's get a clarification on here. What's this passion being re, being ignited all about? Let's get in triumph as well. There's success. There's success. There's passion's been reunited. You've got new beginnings. You know he's racing towards you. You know he's racing towards you. He's racing towards you. He's got that that flag of victory in his hand. It's like, wait for me, wait for me. I understand. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. My passion's been reignited. You know, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't go off in this new beginning without me. Okay? Don't go on that new beginning without me. You know, he's, he's got all this passion in his heart. His heart's on, you know, this is a big flame here. Right? Full of creativity and joyfulness. Splendidness. He's riding off in the sunset. So he's gonna he's riding off in the sunset. He's starting, you know, as of now, he he's understanding. He's being a little more understanding on how you were reaching and how far you were going and and how you're not gonna slip out of his you're not slipping away from him. You know, you're you're not leaving him behind, in other words. He came to under he's come to an understanding of that. Future cards as spiritual strength. Spiritual strength now is within you. You're feeling great. You're feeling good. This new beginning of this new journey that you're going on, or maybe this is a new journey. Maybe this is a new journey between the two of you as well. You know, you, you've got that strength now. You, you, you know, you, you've, you've planted your seed, in other words. you planted your seed. All right? Uh, speaking of that, you know, the, the pentacles are all about earth and planting seeds. And what I read here did say something about planting a seed. So the seed has been planted now. You know, the seed was planted. You had gave it all the light. You know, you gave it all this love and light. You know, you... The new beginning, you kept it watered, you're keeping it refreshing, you're moving forward, moving forward, nourishing it, you're nourishing it. You know, they came to they've come to an understanding about being nourished now, being nourishment. There's triumph, you know, there's triumph here and there's passion's been re reunited. You know, it's been sparked again. And you've got a lot of spiritual strength. You got a lot of spiritual strength from that. You've grown. Your relationship has grown through some of that torment, through some of this turmoil here that was keeping him trapped in fear. He felt as though he was, you know, I don't want to say being stabbed, but, you know, by the all those briars, you know, all those little thorns on all those, on that blackberry bush, you know. Feeling like crunching, you know. Let's go ahead and see what their last card is. Finance, financial and material changes. And look at here. Here's the here's the left hand. Here's the left hand. And look, we have a ring on the ring finger here. Right? We have a ring here. Financial and material changes. We've got spiritual strength. We have spiritual strength. This could be this could very well be a wedding or a engagement or just a more um Closer, a closer relationship now. You've done, you've done some, some soul searching. He's done some soul searching, right? The passion in him's been reignited. You've got a new beginning. Your spiritual side is being strengthened, and uh, you know the financial and the material changes that perhaps you've been making with these new changes, you know, as well. 
is coming into went full circle, okay? This went full circle. The ring is a full circle, right? The circle of life, right? It went to full circle now. You're on top of this circle. You're on top of the circle now. Financial material things are are just on the route, on the route, on the route, <laughs> on the route to go. Um, it's also though is a five here. You know this this could be a little bit of conflicts coming in. You know when you're speaking of money and pentacles are all about coins. It's all about finances, right? As well. So um, again, you know. Five's bring in a little bit of conflict, so there may be a few little money issues here and there coming in for the both of you uh, in the near future here. But, um, you know, keep that spiritual strength, keep the spark united, and remind him that you're not going to just slip away from him. You're not going to just slither away and slip away, but he has to, and he also has to talk his fears out through you. There needs to be clear communication between the two of you to keep this, you know, to keep this, uh, let's just say this relationship, this ring, furthering on and happening, okay? And if it's not an engagement ring, a wedding ring, it could just be a, a ring of friendship, you know? It's just a close bond, all right? So let's go ahead and we'll pull one more card for you, then we'll be done. I'm going to bring, pull out a vibrational card here for you, for, for, uh, for this reading as well. You have, my high vibes heal the world. Your high vibes heal the world. <laughs> Your high vibes. Here it is. Spiritual strength. Here it is. Your high vibes heal the world. Remember, all of us can heal this world, okay? All of us can heal this world. Have to be positive, be positive, and do the right thing for the right reasons. And don't listen to the dogma, and don't listen to society's way of holding you down in a lower vibration, in a different reality, okay? You're high vibe, you're vibrating very high, which is very, which is very true, because look at this beautiful light. All this, all this beautiful vibrational light is upon you. Your vibration, you're vibrating very high, so, uh, you know, if you have any spirituality, um, everybody has spirituality, but I mean, if you have any spiritual talents, you know, or, um, don't be afraid to put your voice out there, okay?